What is the craziest thing you've ever received from one of your subscribers? You know what's funny? When we lived in the old apartment with Logan at 850. <laughs> Baby, what is up guys? It seems that a lot of you guys are enjoying the old style of vlogging where I talk, I hold the camera, I do the cinematics, I get back to being me, because after all, that is what is I preach. <laughs> that is what I preach, guys. Be positive, be happy, and be you. If you are new to the donation, welcome. I am Mark Donor. And as you all know, gosh, I can't talk today. As you all know, we have fire vlogs every single day. We're always having a good time, spreading the positivity. Welcome to the donation. We lounge, baby. We lounge. We lounge. Nasty. Hazelnut. Haz Hazel. Hazel. Ah, camera fell. Whoops. Way to start the vlog. Nice. Howdy, How are we living today? We live in large. It's the weekend, baby. Oh my God, it's the weekend. Yo, 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 guys. So something I've realized in the 357 vlogs that I have made over this past year is that vlogging is hard. It's not hard if you have people around you, but if you're alone by yourself like I am today, it is hard. Coming up with a new video every single day and being creative and trying to find new angles and storytelling to give to you guys is one of the hardest things that I think I've challenged myself to do over this past year. And I've been doing a lot of research on positivity, being yourself, and just looking at some inspirational things and quotes, which I'll touch upon. Haha. <laughs> Still again, having a trouble <laughs> Having trouble talking, I will touch upon in a later video, but earlier today I was watching a video that was posted by Casey Neistat. He called it, Filmmaking is a Sport. If you guys have time, go ahead and watch it. Here's a quick peek. The more time I spent chasing down the facade of success, the less creating I was actually doing. How can I go back? And as you can see from watching it, it kind of preaches upon a few things that I've been researching. I haven't really said them in the vlogs, but that I've been doing self-reflecting about positivity and being yourself. He says that, we all aspire to be something. We all, he wanted to be a filmmaker. He, every day he tried to become a filmmaker, 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 and he was trying to do something so hard. He wanted to be a known filmmaker, but he was losing the opportunities of being creative himself and doing his own creative things. Like, it's at our fingertips, guys. We can post anything we want to, anytime we want to, with anything we want to. YouTube, the internet is out there for anyone to be a filmmaker every single day. And I just wanted to share like two quotes that I've been reading. Kurt Cobain, wanting to be someone else is a waste of who you are. What he means by this is like we all look up to people. It's cool to look up to me, but at the end of the day, be who you are. Be yourself. Be you, period, guys. I preach that all the time. We're allowed to be inspired by people. I obviously have inspirations out there, but at the end of the day, I am trying to become myself. I'm trying to do what I want to do day in and day out and that's the most important thing and that's the key to happiness the key to success don't try to be someone else don't live in, other, in someone else's shoes just do you and then hopefully people will follow and that, and that positive message has resonated with you guys the cinematography everything I do on this channel you guys all love it and I'm glad that I can just be myself and share that with you guys inspire you guys to do your own things and then a second quote by Malcolm Forbes it says too many people overvalue what they are not and undervalue what they are this is also important. So a lot of us spend time comparing. We sit here and we say, oh, well, Jimmy is the manager. He makes $15 an hour, but I only make $10 an hour. And we don't really appreciate, that's a, kind of a analogy. But we don't really appreciate what we have, what we bring to the table, what we offer, because we're too focused on wanting what someone else brings to the table. For example, in, in a scenario with me, for example, I can sit here and I can say, oh, Logan has 15 million subscribers. Jake has 12 million subscribers. Liza has 10 million, 11 million, whatever. All these people have millions, millions, millions. I could sit here and I could be like, why don't I have that? Or I could be appreciative and value, truly value the two million people in the donation and work harder every day to grow my audience. Because if I sit back and I just say, oh man, like, damn, I wish I had that, then I'm not gonna get anywhere. If I work every day towards my goals and my goals are 
happiness. I'm happy. I've accomplished my goal of happiness. That's not a problem to me. And another goal of mine is to share that happiness with as many people as possible. That's why I like to grow the donation. I like to spread positivity. I like to encourage people to go out there and do their own thing. The more people that are aware of my message to be themselves, the more people that, you know, are inspired. The more people are going out and doing what they want to do. They're not listening to, you know, how they were raised necessarily saying like, oh, mom said I gotta go to high school, then I gotta go to college, then I gotta, you know, stay at home in debt for a couple of years while I find a job. You don't have to do that, you know? Just, what do you wanna do? Ask yourself that, and then just do it. Find a way to do it, because anything is possible. Anything's possible! Take back! Oh my gosh. Why do you always scare me? Welcome into the vlog, Kylie. Let's see what kind of hands you got. Bam, baby. How are we living today? I was a goalie. Yeah, well, you didn't think fast enough. Well, I didn't expect you to check a ball then. Gotta when I expect in. the unexpected in this life. That's very in this house. Yeah. More so. Three hours later. Okay, I have to apologize. I fell victim to this new show on Netflix. It's like called The End of the Fing World. And it was pretty good. Kylie and I watched that for a little bit, and she just went to her friend's bowling birthday party back in her hometown, like an hour and a half away. So I got the place to myself right now. And it's a Mess. I mean, this isn't so bad. This isn't terrible. But if you go upstairs, you will see that this is a recurring problem in my life. Like, how does this happen? Not to mention, if we come over here in the closet. <laughs> 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 Okay guys, so as you saw from that time lapse, I have a very specific method of cleaning. You see, the room right now looks spick and span. And that's because I moved everything into the closet so it is nice and convenient for Kylie to fold and hang up everything when she gets home. <laughs> She's gonna kill me. I'm just kidding guys, I cleaned the place up. It's looking spick and span and you know what? The cool thing about vlogging alone guys is you force yourself to do something. You force yourself to work. Starting a daily vlog, you force yourself to do something every single day of your life and film it in a creative way. And a lot of people always, they always mess with me like, yo, like I don't have a group of friends that are in all the same things. Like it's so hard for me to vlog alone. Wrong, guys. Vlogging alone forces you and pushes you creatively. I also see a lot of messages like, oh, Mark, like, I don't have cool scenery around me. I don't have Los Angeles. I don't have this amazing city with endless content, with the beach, with downtown, with the palm trees, with the mountains. You guys, you don't need that at all to create cinematography. Like, I'm gonna cue the cinema in my apartment right now, and it's gonna be dope. I cue the cinema. <laughs> you guys because it's very important to be yourself and that may not have been the most entertaining cinema but the matter of the fact is I did it and I guess like the whole message behind today's vlog has been anybody can do this anybody can vlog anybody can become a youtuber it's just a matter of going out and actually doing it guys sticking with it believing in yourself and being yourself that is the most important thing in this industry is staying true to yourself and at the end of the day just doing it just like, listen to Nike, man. Just do it. Just do it. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, since it is just me again, I figured I'd do another late night Q&A. So here we go. I tweeted out. Guys, follow me on Twitter if you don't already. At Mark Donor. You know what I'm saying. We just hit 260K. Another late night Q&A. Ask away if you're up. It is 1 o'clock in the morning. Here we go on a Friday night. It's Kinsey, what is your favorite restaurant right now? I have a favorite restaurant. I don't know what it's called, to be honest. It's at the Grove in Los Angeles. They make the best pasta ever. It's on the corner. It's across from Cheesecake. That, that's my favorite restaurant right now. Devin McCray Vlogs. When are you releasing the Mexico story? When a video hits 100,000 likes, that is when I will release the Mexico story. So guys, smash that like button on this one if it hits 100K. Diamond 153, line 258. What is your favorite thing to watch on Netflix? As I mentioned earlier, guys, I am watching End of the 
world. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, I gotta say. And I and I realized too with Black Mirror with End of the World, every show on Netflix right now is kind of British driven. There's a lot of British actors, so that's pretty cool. Brie Gunther, how do you always stay so positive? This is a good question because I get asked this a lot. I am such a positive person, and I think hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kylie's calling me. Can I help you? What is it that you may want, young lady? I just wanted to say hello, old man. I'm doing a QA and a and one of the questions is, how do I always stay so positive? Do you have an answer for that? Yes, I do. You have a wonderful, beautiful girlfriend in your life here. Just makes you so happy in that you don't need to have anything else. Okay, this is where I hang up on her and... Oh man, even when she's gone, she can't get enough of me. Anyways guys, the answer to this question, how do you always stay so positive, guys? I look at everything in a positive light. When negative happens, I try to focus on the positive. When positive happens, I focus on the more positive. I think it's super important, guys, to always just be happy and see things in a positive light because at the end of the day, think about, for example, if you get in an argument, think about this. What is the argument about? Is it really worth it? You're still gonna be breathing. You're still gonna live on. Arguing is just literally the most pointless thing in the world. It is a waste of breath. It is a waste of time. The most valuable possession that anyone has in this world is time. And wasting that time with an argument is the most unimportant thing ever. So being positive in negative situations, think about a lot of negative situations have to deal with someone being upset, negativity, arguments, whatever. I think of those types of situations as wasting my time because at the end of the day, you have an argument, you're gonna get over it. Everyone always gets over arguments. Always. 100% of the time. So cut to the chase, don't sit there and sulk about it. Go straight to the point. Look, this is what I'm upset about. How can we deal with this? Get over that argument, be positive about it, don't be upset about it. That is the key to being positive all the time, is not wasting your time on negativity. Moving, being the bigger person 100% of the time. Be the bigger person and be you, period. Next question, AJ, are you going to make any new music and music videos? Also, can you tell Kylie to follow me back since you do? Laugh out loud, please. I will let Kylie know once she gets home. As you know, I just got off the phone with her. I am also working on a new song. It is really, really good. I am so excited. Uh, I'm not gonna like jump the gun like I did on the last one because I worked on that for a few months. It takes time, guys. In this industry, in the music industry, what I learned, it takes time to release a song, so I'm not gonna jump the gun on that one. Kayla, what is on your bucket list? I wanna jump out of a plane. That is definitely on my bucket list. Dear Jay, really good question. Do you ever plan to change your hairstyle? What would it be? If no, then why? I actually do plan to change my hairstyle. I I am so sick of this hair right here, guys. This blonde, <laughs> luscious platinumness. I low key want to go black. I I did it once before. You know, honestly, guys, I'm warming up to it a little bit. Let me know in the comments what you think. Can I pull off the black hair? I mean, it's not too terrible. Back. And I kind of f with it. I like it a lot. So I'm thinking recent that I want to change my hairstyle to black because I'm just, I'm over the frosted tips, guys. I have brown hair naturally. like, And I wanted to buzz it. I buzzed it in high school, but I'm a little nervous. Maria, would you ever go to a fan's Sweet 16? Absolutely. I went to a fan's Bar Mitzvah. Ash. And now I know you get down like I and it was actually really, really fun. So a sweet 16, I'm sure it would be nothing short of fun. So yes, if you have a sweet 16, you want me to come invite me and pay me. I'm just kidding. Just invite me and pay me. I know I already answered a question from you, Kayla, but you asked another good question. Are you thinking of going back to the OG way of vlogging? That's funny because yes, I am. I talked about it in yesterday's vlog, today's vlog. I'm OG vlogging is the best, guys. When when you control everything you do, you don't have a filmer, you have a tripod, you have your hands, you have to do everything. That is vlogging to me, guys. That's what I grew up on. I grew up on watching Casey Neistat, Roman Atwood. Those were my inspirations in the terms of vlogging. And I just like it better. It's more personal. It feels like I'm talking to you more. It feels like I'm connecting to you more rather than filming what I'm doing. I think when you film yourself, which I got into that for a little bit, it feels more so like you treat yourself as a celebrity and like the true creativity for me comes in me being able to hold the camera. It may not work for some other people. They might like to be filmed, but for me, the true creativity comes with me controlling everything. That is what sh showcases my true talent. 5N1P3R Fox. What is the craziest thing you've ever received from one of your subscribers? You know what's funny? When we lived in the old apartment with Logan at 850, someone showed up to my doorstep with my favorite vanilla latte from Starbucks and a Gaines bowl. And that was probably the craziest thing I've ever received. Blackheart, what kind of drone are you using? I'm using a Phantom 4 Pro Plus. Devin McCray, again, will you ever do a day in the life? I really want to make a video where it's a behind the scenes 
scenes of the vlog because you guys see the final cut, you see the final edit. I think it'd be really cool for you guys to see the uncut where I fuck up a lot, I mess up my words, I have to do retakes. Like you never know. You guys think that vlogging is flawless, everything is perfect. The amount of times I retake shots, the amount of times any vlogger retake shots is ridiculous because we strive for perfection and that's just a quality that we all have. So it'd be really cool to do like a day in the life behind the scenes of the vlog so we'd film the vlog and, and post that as a separate video and I think it'd be really cool. Val needs help, what uh, YouTubers do you watch in your free time? I watch David Dobrik, Casey Neistat, those are some of my favorites. And last question guys, cause it's getting late. Xander Lee, what got you into filming? What drives your passion? The the thing that got me into filming actually is Devin Supertramp. He's a big YouTuber. He made really cool action packed and, and highly cinematic videos. That is what inspired me guys. When I first made my videos back at Ohio University in college, I was greatly inspired by him. I used a glide cam, I used a 60 and 35 millimeter lens. I looked up all of the equipment he did. The research that I did on this guy to see what he was using was ridiculous. The amount of time I spent on it was absolutely more time than I spent on classes. So what got me into filming was Devin Supertramp. I can, I can thank him for everything that I've done. And also Casey and I said, obviously he inspired me to start vlogging. He came over and visited me and Logan at our old apartment. He was like, yo, vlog is the next big thing. You guys gotta do it. And I held off on it for a minute because I just felt uncomfortable. And then I finally started to do it and look where it's gotten me guys. And as I said earlier, the most important thing is to just go out there and do. Embrace what you're doing. Don't be shy. Don't feel like people are judging you because if you have confidence in yourself, you have confidence in what you're doing, then no one will judge you because they're like, oh, he's owning it. He knows what he's doing. I don't have to judge him. I don't think it's weird. I don't think it's whatever, you know? Like, as long as you believe in yourself, as long as you have the confidence in yourself, no one will ever judge you. And that is what is the most important thing, guys. Be you, period, and go do yourself. That is what the donation embodies. And if you guys are a member of the donation, then I appreciate you so much. If you aren't, hit that subscribe button, enjoy the donation, because every day we are working hard to accomplish our goals and being ourselves. That is going to do it for today's vlog. Shout out to everybody that's hit up dones.com and gotten their merchandise. And I will see you guys all tomorrow with a brand new vlog. So until then, say it with me one time. Deuces!